New segment time. What, yes. t- what time are we at? Uh, it's now. It's been about an hour. It's 13, cool. Thirteen till. We're actually kind of. We're chugging along. Thirteen great. till one o'clock. Yes. One a.m. Cool. Anyway, it is now Sunday. Make sure yeah. you make complete stops when you're leaving the house. Yeah, 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 it's not. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not. I go more... the other way now. I, I, am not going to home. I'm going to yeah. town. And then when so you ever see, no a, if you ever see a car, then you let them leave. Bro, bro. I've been through the criminal justice system now. I ain't going back to jail. I, I, no, <laughs> I am not going back there. Like my grandma today was talking to me, and she was like, "Cause my brother has to, I think, has to go for jury duty or something." Oh, really? And it's just like, I don't know what they'd say if they saw me back up in the... I, I'm like, oh, <laughs> uh, if anybody's going oh, back yeah, to the no, court. No, yeah, no. If you go back in, they'll be like, uh... I no, remember no. you. They'll be like, I remember you. It's, uh... And they'll say your last name, like, yep. <laughs> it's like, I remember you. You're, you're, and, they'll and, say your last name I'll, or whatever. I'll, you know, if I ever show... I'll show up as for jury duty, I'll plop down, and he'll be like... See, like... They'll say my last name, but like, I'm like, yep. It's yep. like... Did I say that right? Then he'll be like, "You want out of this?" And I'll be like, "Sure." Bring, your, bring, your, say that right? bring your piece of paper over here. No, you ask me. Did I say that right? It's like, yeah. Yep. Come over here. I'm like, all right. Get your slip of paper to like. Do you want out of this? I'm like, I guess. I mean, see, you have your slip of you know little paper because I'm sure they give you like a piece of paper or something that the judge needs to sign or whatever to like let you out. That's not how I got out. Well, how'd you get out? So, did I not tell you the story? I, I, I remember I it, but did you ever go, yeah. The did, story is literally like two minutes. It's like two, I can, I, can, I can make it short. Basically, so I was supposed to have jury duty last, last, o- last August. So but almost a year ago. And, um, well, basically, I, I went to down to the office, you know, to get it referred to another term. And they're like, you know, August, to be quite, fr- to be honest with you, is, is our lowest, like, level in terms of, like, things that are going on and so we, we probably won't even need you to be honest because when you get called for jury duty it's more or less like you're on a list of, of names of people to consider but like you may not even get called to be a part of the jury and so they said you know since it's such a small you know term or whatever well let's put this on there get you done and over with because once 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 you're on there you're good like you'll probably never need to be go like you'll probably be good for a while yeah you'll never get called again exactly and so I said, fine, let's do it. Because school is starting up again. And so, I mean, I was like kind of headed to that first, but she was like, all right, whatever. So they put me on there, never got a call. And since then, I've been good. No, I, Because I, I had it referred like three or four times. And she's like, yeah, you know, this is kind of excessive. I mean, I get you're in school at all, and all, but he's like, this is kind of excessive. Like, we just need to, if you just want to get yourself off the list, you just need to sign up like this one time. And... I recommend doing it now. I was like, whatever, let's do it. Well, you know, I, so so you, so they go and they pick the jurors, you know, for the trial because like sometimes some jurors are better for the people in that case. Yeah, whatever. I mean, you because you, you can also get out of it once you know the case. If uh, what was it like a hardship or whatever, or like if you have like oh like if you were raped or extremely rape. biased. That that too. Extremely biased. Or like if it's a rape case and you were raped. Yes, they let you out. Extremely biased. So, but anyways, so like, but you know, the judge knows me at this point, and he's just like, get over here. He's like, I'm like, all right, you went out of this. I'm like, sure, you were here. Get out. See ya. (laughs) Like, hope I don't see you here and again. Like, cool. Cool. (laughs) Gets out. (laughs) Little little as you know. Walks around, hits car, heads to Maine, <laughs> comes back, come back to you. Yeah. Uh, I can't get you out of this one, bud. I can't get you out of this one. You ran, you crossed state borders. This became a federal offense. I can't just tell you to plead guilty and show that you have your insurance and pay a hundred dollar fine. Uh, you're kind of screwed on this one. Like, I know. I know. I did it for a YouTube video. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Why not? Wait, wait a minute. Wait, Whoa. are you that Dr. Sheep my daughter talks about? I'm like, yes. Well, maybe there is something with that. Uh, oh, She's man. having a birthday party next week. Can you host that? I'm like, I guess. 
<laughs> All right, deal. Deal. What a free deal. Oh, what am I doing at this birthday party? First to arrive in Maine wins $10,000. Uh, well, first of all, there are two problems with that. Uh, number one, we don't have $10,000. And number two, who's racing the main? <laughs> and number uh, number three, why are we racing the main? <laughs> Anyways, so the past few weeks, I have been obsessed with personalities. Mm -hmm. So, I, I already knew what my personality was, but I retook it anyways. Got the same one. So... I wanted to know all the people around me and their personalities. Mm -hmm. It helps. Because of my personality type, it actually was fitting to learn everybody else's and see how they all work with. Mm -hmm. I am an ENTJ. I have some INTJ qualities and some other qualities from other personality well, types. Well, first of all, why don't we say what all these letters are? So, Oh, right. So there's the Myers-Briggs 16 personalities. There are four, technically five but the fifth letters is A or T. Uh, Which can change day to day. Assertive or turbulent. From what I understand, it changes from day to day. I've usually always been assertive. But anyway, it, it, it doesn't influence like your overall, you know, yeah, your yeah. personality. Just it, your degree of that or whatever. It, assertive or turbulent doesn't matter to, in my opinion for what we're doing. So you have four letters beforehand. So the first letter is E or N. Uh, <laughs> e or I. Introvert or extrovert. Second letter is observing, which is represented by an S, or intuitive, which is represented by an N. So your N or an S. Mm -hmm. And then you have thinking, which is represented by a T, or feeling, which is an F. And then you have J for judging or P for perceiving. I still have yet to really figure out the difference between observing and intuitive. I'm pretty sure... Intuitive people look at facts and can make based off of that. Yeah, it's a it's probably like a priori and a posteriori, uh, which is I believe Latin. So a priori is stuff that you can just think up. Anything that you can just uh, anything basically intuitive is perfect because. Anything that just seems like that's how things should be. That's that, where it's where you get. So what if you're the analysts are all very logical. That's where they get that. Intuitive people are logic based people. Yes, and then your a posteriori is like real world when like you have to do an experiment to know. So I mean, like in physics or whatever, you know, there are a lot of things in physics that are non intuitive. Quantum mechanics, for example. You cannot just think that up. Newton could not just think that up. He the, tried. Yes. It came from trial and error. And trial and error, we figured out that it just can't work. And, you know, so then we came up with some other methods, tested them. When you have to test something, that's a posteriori. Remember, gravity, quantum mechanics. A priori is philosophical, basically. When you can just... That just seems like that's how the world should be. And so, in terms of applying it to this, intuitive and... What was the other one? Uh, uh, observing. And observing means that uh, when you um, go about your day and you decide your actions, are you deciding your actions based off of prior experiences and how you reacted to those? Or are you just going about um, how you feel it would be the best fit for you just by just rational thinking? Just thinking through it. Oh. And that's how I and think. So intuitive people. I don't know. I mean, this is how it. I think this is how I think it it should be defined. I don't know, I'm just saying. I, I think that I, I think that's what it is. I'm not I think because Observers use past experiences mm -hmm. and they think of. Uh, I mean, they don't think about, it, but like, they're like. You they know, rely on their past experiences, whereas the intuitive is. They can use their past experiences, but they also use data. They they rely. On, well, data is more or less past experiences. I think it's more or less they think it through. Right. Right. Yeah. But I don't know. I I don't know. I see, again. I'm a little confused on the intuitive, and the observing. I. Yeah. I think it's more of I, I always thought it was sensing, which is the S, but which would make more sense sensing versus intuitive, 
people who are sense they sense things through they use their feelings but that's more of a feeler than a thinker i honestly but i honestly don't know i'm pretty sure though the intuitive that's your i think that's where the logic comes from in the personality types yeah and then you have and then i perceivers and judgers i really don't know the difference you perceive or you judge i don't know I really can't figure out the difference between. Does it the talk about that or no? I don't know where you would go to figure that out. We can I guess we can just Google it. Google. Sure, I got it. What'd you find? People with the judging preference want to things to be neat, orderly, and established. The perceiving preference wants things to be flexible and spontaneous. Where'd you find this? The personality page. I mean, it sounds legit. Okay, what about uh, intuitive and observant? So, judges want things to be orderly, as where observers are more uh, let it be. Intuitive versus what? Uh, observant. Personality type. Whatever. These traits describe what people are more likely to do with the information gathered from the world. Intuitive rely on imagining the past and future potential of what they see observant style are more interested in the observable facts and more shape yeah yeah yeah, yeah so that kind of fits a priori and a posteriori uh, you know imagination so, versus facts so which is interesting are you a, if you're a very imaginative that would be intuitive and if you're very logical that would be the other one weird though because I'm a very logical person <laughs> yet I'm intuitive to be fair though i guess i am a very creative person wouldn't you agree yeah but what's the other one observing observe so you are not observing no i'm intuitive by how much quite a bit <laughs> i think the only one where i was the maybe that was the one i wasn't the closest on. Oh, what was i again you were INFJ. 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 FJ. What was N? Intuitive. I thought you guys were ISFJ. I'm IN. What did. I thought you were ISFJ. I have ISFJs, I'm pretty sure. I'm INFJ. Hold on. Let me. Re I can look here. I am I. What what is intuitive? N. I N yeah. I N F J. You fit in the diplomats. I advocate. Intuitive for me. Yeah, you're both advocates. Yeah. Wait, what do we, wait? What did we say? Intuitive was. N. No 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 no. Intuitive was imagination, and observing was facts. Yeah. More of like intuitive looks at the past and future. Observant looks at what you could see physically. Oh, wait. So I have it backwards? Yeah. So intuitive is factual based. No, intuitive people you Imagine, are abstract based. Imagining the past and future potential, what they see. Observers use facts. Observable facts and more straightforward outcomes. Okay. So, hmm. so uh, and abstract. logic, which is logic which is. weird, because analysts are logical people, and so those are the observing. Are these the observing? No, these are intuitives. But I think I think where we get our logic. So some people may get their logic from their observers. You know, facts. They're logical. They're not thinking up something random like and like like you know intuitive people like i think up something random you people don't no people don't do that no people who are observers don't do that they're not they will just like i'll be sitting there i'll be like what if we do this stupid thing and there was like, i have a lot of those <laughs> i know you have, have a, a whole list <laughs> we have a list it, my that's my point we're intuitive we, we are abstract i mean look at my intuitive yeah, so some people... I, I almost take up the entire bar, 71%. So some people get their logic from their observing parts. I get my logic from thinking. Hmm. 
I think things through, so I, I, but I use, but when you, if you think things through, you're not using feelings, you're using logic. Yeah. Which is where that comes from. So if you're an I S T, if you're an N, if you're an uh, S T, you are a very logical person. You yes. do not take the outside creativity from you or I or Kyle at all mm -hmm. you hear something that i or or uh in uh an nf yeah. something and you wouldn't if somebody in the nf says something to you you'd be like you're stupid i am an nf they're more stubborn when it comes yeah to the they did call you stupid they somebody who stupid. is an s t would call you stupid they, they'd be like what when you because be like there's no logic it, there. Yeah. It'll be a NASA scientist arguing that the world is round to a flat earther. Yeah. That's how you would put the argument. Because they, they, they would literally see you as ill. They wouldn't see you as logic. They, they'd Uneducated. See, they'd see you have this imaginative idea and they wouldn't get it. It yeah. may be it may be logical sound because, again, you're intuitive. You still have yeah, yeah, you, yeah. your lot. You get. Well, no, you're not. You're imaginative. You don't have any logic there. So the, you may you may be this smart, and so you can apply logic to it through your just your sheer intelligence alone. Well, no, I think the first part is I think the what the. No, no, no. I think I, I think I get it. Okay, so it's energy and nature. So your energy, I think, is more or less how you your logic based. Nature is uh, people. So you're people smarts, mm. and so your 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 book smarts or whatever are intuitive. Is is the energy port? Is the energy portion? Which is the which part is the energy portion? The the intuitive or observant. Okay. That's like your book smart. Nature is like your people smarts. So when it comes to your people smarts, are you thinking situations through? I'm stupid. Or if you're, or are you going through how you feel about the situation? I'd be stupid compared to somebody who feels. Yeah. Which my psychologist pointed out to me. I mean, I I should probably read more into this. But okay, so then yeah, so this is our book smarts. We're lot we're all intuitive here. We go based off of. Well, we don't. This is nature, right? Right. Well, I mean, I'm not in that category. I am. Yeah. You're down here. You're a diplomat, you weirdos. Advocate. Oh, I don't want to put on the protagonist. Diplomats. Weirdos. The Sentinels. These people. Oh my gosh. So, I believe our aunt and uncle, not my father, but the other ones. Yes. Not. Yes. Not, uh. Name for him. The one with the daughter. With the one daughter, yes. Yes. Uh, they both are sentinels, I believe. They were... Actually, I can look it up. I still have the text. They were logitician and a defender. I believe she was a defender. He was a logitician. A, uh, logitician. But... Is that ESFJ? For console? Hmm? E S yes. yeah yeah. E okay, that's what our my dad is. Oh no. And then my mom is No, he ES was a virtuoso, I thought. My mom is ESFP. Oh, I thought he was a virtuoso. No. He was a consul. Oh, that's lame. Oh, are both of my parents consuls? No, your mother was an entertainer. F P <laughs> That 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 makes sense. Yeah. That was like dead on. And when your Entertainer? dad and, that is like, and your dad being like a virtuoso perfect. made perfect sense as well. He's ESFJ. Huh? He is a console. Wait, go to go to the virtuoso. That's a virtu uh, the virtuoso bull, practical uh, uh, experimenters, masters of all kinds of tools. They they explore things with their hands. They're mechanics. That is. That is him. I know. That's that's why. I, no, your dad was not a virtuoso, and your mom was an entertainer. Yes, that, I that's must like have, perfect. I must have read it wrong. He's extroverted. I must have read it wrong. 
I want. I, I would He's just extra, have... he, His test said extrovert. Really? Yeah. How close was he? I think he was like 50 something. Because I feel like he'd be more on the introverted he's, side for he's certain, like 50 for certain aspect. So okay, well, 50 is pretty close. Yeah, I, I think yeah. I think when you're I think when you're in the 50s, I think the introvert and extrovert kind of depends on the situation. That's you. Yes, I think it kind of depends on the situation. You're in a lot of situations, you could be an introvert, but in oh, some I'm others, you could be an extrovert. Heavily introverted. 83 percent. Yes, yes. But when you're in the 50s, it kind of depends on the situation. If you're in an un, <clears throat> if you're in a situation where you're kind of unf, where you're unfamiliar with, and, you know, maybe a little nervous, you know, a little self conscious, you're gonna be more introverted. I'm missing data. Somewhere. But if you're in a situation that's new to you, but you're very excited about it, and you're not self conscious, you're gonna be extroverted. So when it comes to me, and when I'm extroverted, and when I'm introverted. So what, what? So like when I'm looking at between ENTJ and INTJ, because that's where I'm kind of borderline. My brother's more borderline, which makes sense because he... Do you see how borderline I was? I was on, like, you cannot be more borderline than I was. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know, I don't, I don't know that much about the two different personalities you're teetering between two, but like... Yeah, I, I, but, I don't, but I don't know what you're teetering between, to be honest. I don't know what the big difference between those two, but to be fair, I mean the big difference between the two of mine is well, as a commander, I you know I take charge when I'm a naturally born leader, but as an architect, I just basically I don't really take charge, but I we're we're this we're very similar. I mean, they're very similar. Just the logician will probably think things through a bit more than a commander, mm -hmm. and won't take charge, obviously. Uh, but uh, so, like, when it comes to like relationship stuff, I'm an INTJ. I feel like I just won't do well in those situations. Yeah. Like the way the way they described it is like what I would do. What yeah. person are you? Uh, I'm an I'm an ENTJ, the commander. Okay. As is Will and my brother. I don't know how my brother got the ENTJ. He's more... I was predicting an INTJ. But he said he was teetering between the two, which makes what a lot of sense. What is an INTJ? Architect. The architect. Hmm. I could see that. I can't see myself being the architect just because I'm... I'm just... Too... No, I could see him being the architect. Yeah. He... I, it definitely fits him better. Especially... I Like, when you read the relationship thing, it fits me better and it fits him better. But when I read everything else for the commander, it fits me better, just not the relationship wise. And I just don't like parties, and but you know, it doesn't say what kind of party you're going to. If I'm going to like a party where we're, you know, uh, weed, a salon, uh, a salon, it's a gathering of intellectuals. Oh. There's my vocabulary coming through there, by the well, way. Well, I mean, I, when I think of salon... I, I know, a hairdresser, yes. Yes. Uh, but it actually... A salon is a, is a gathering of intellectuals. An intellectual party of oh. sorts. They just get down and discuss philosophy and other issues. Well, how did mechanics. hair fall into a salon category? Don't know. Because at, at a salon, you're discussing things. Yeah. You go to a salon, you talk to your barber about your life. So that's where I'm just that's where I extrapolated they become from. I'm assuming a poor man psychologist. Yeah. Also, aka a bartender. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's their that's unintentionally their jobs. So yeah, I can see myself going either way, but I definitely more on the commander side. When I when I'm leading. Well, let me read some of the other options. I want to see if there's any like that fit me better. Your logician, maybe. Logician, maybe. Keep scrolling. Hold on. No, you're you're a, you're too much of a people. Hold on. Okay, you you are in the diplomats. He's an advocate. Advocate. I think the other one, uh, yeah, yeah, was a protagonist. 
I think that was the other one that, that could fit me. That So if you just flipped around E and I. <clears throat> yeah, you'd be either. A protagonist. A, yeah, you advocate or protagonist. Charismatic, inspiring leaders, able to mesmerize their listeners. I don't I would know. T- I, 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 I think I could fit the mesmerizing part in terms of what I say. Yeah, I, but I don't <laughs> think you're charismatic or <laughs> inspiring. Be... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, it, sa- it says under mine I'm supposed to be charismatic. Yeah. Am I charismatic? No. Let's see. I although I keep scrolling. What else? People do like talking to me. The sentinels. I don't. You're not a sentinel. Not a sentinel. I don't believe so. A logician. My father is an executive. Yeah. Yeah. Practical, fact-minded individuals whose reliability cannot be doubted. Don't they have logician up here? Yeah. Logician. 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 What was down there? Logician. What's the difference? Practical. I S T J. Scroll. Okay, they're observers. These are intuitive thinkers. I S T. These are innovators. So as were those, th- these are in- these these people are inventive. Those people aren't. They they're very similar people, except this one. So one might be uh, a scientist doing just research and examining data, whereas where this one's coming up with cures and ideas, things people haven't done before. Okay, okay. I think that's how I can see it because a logician be- can uh, is thinking about. Actually, I, I think that's what that would be because they're both would be about the same. Just this one is they're coming up with ideas. I just think it's interesting that entrepreneur fits down here and explores, but I guess it's, it makes sense. Entrepreneur, entertainer, adventure, virtuoso. I don't like living on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> living on the edge. So of the. Uh, so I was looking up, most likely to be single. Despite yeah. the pitfalls of the commander and the architect, explorers are piss poor when it comes to finding relationships. Entertainers are the worst. When it comes to finding a relationship? Mm-hmm. Explorers are bad. Really bad. The best are sentinels and diplomats. Oh, These it. are very good with people. Obviously, look, a nurse, defender, executive, uh, well, maybe not an executive, but a console, <laughs> but a console, a very, a console is a very big family person, a defender, great for that kind of stuff, and just, you know, being able to be an advocate or a mediator or a protagonist, maybe not a protagonist necessarily, but a mediator or an advocate would be very good in a relationship, not whoa, so much whoa, whoa, being whoa. a commander. Wait, go back or, to the green, yeah, yeah, what did... Uh, what is campaigner? Enthusiastic, creative, social, free spirits. You can always find a reason to smile. I feel like I can kind of fit into that. Enthusiastic, create. You're sociable and free spirited. I don't know. It is so the always can find a reason to smile. I I and know a man like this. Really? Yes. Well, uh, my well, the old. Full timer, I could definitely see him being a campaigner. So he's, oh, he's very, I don't. Maybe she wasn't so sociable though. Maybe he maybe be more of a mediator. Maybe he probably a mediator. I don't think he was too. Oh yeah, maybe that, maybe more of a mediator then. You're a diplomat. Well, you can be. You could probably fit into any of these roughly. Roughly. Just yeah. like I can probably fit into any of these, roughly. Not so much a debater or a logician, but or I can fit between somewhere between an architect and a commander. Mm-hmm. I can fit somewhere in between that. I I can fit maybe more of a logician, but a debater. I, I can fit in any of these. Maybe less than the logician actually. At least would be logician. I'm not as in, I'm not an inventor or innovator, yeah. but definitely a debater or an architect or a commander. I'm just not inventive enough. I think as a child I could have been, but not anymore. Let's go down. So I do have a thirst for knowledge. What was the difference between uh, the letter difference? It was between advocate and mediator. So these are all N. 
Oh, it's the final one. The judging and... Yeah. What's judging and perceiving? Oh, these are NFs. That's why. I was like, what's the common one between all these? It's the NFs. They're changing the first and the last one. Mm -hmm. Let's see, how close was I to... No, it says I'm I'm very strong on the um on the judging side. At least from the at least from when I took this test. Not a perceiver. Not a perceiver. Yeah, but uh, I definitely fit in the uh don't I don't feel informed feeling. I think and then one of these. What's the common one here? S T. No, these are all judges. My bad. It's S. These are all. These are all observers and judges. And then these, I would assume, are all F and P. No, they're all P's. S and P's. Mm -hmm. Oh, what do you think uh, our uncle, our other uncle would be? The one with two daughters. I think he could also fit into the uh, a virtuoso, but I don't know. But he's also an no. alternative he build, been... practical, all kinds of tools. He's I feel very, like, he's but he's very... also very, very very extroverted. Okay. Maybe he entrepreneur. He might be entrepreneur. Go up to the top. But he is he, very but extroverted. He could be a console. I don't know if I'd put extraordinarily caring. He's not. <laughs> I don't think I would put. The, no. Have you seen him and his grandson? I mean, have you seen how he treats me? He's <laughs> hard time. He just gives you crap. I mean, I still feel like that's part of his personality. These days. I got it is. Everybody doesn't. Nobody likes him. Really? Yeah. Have you, do you not talk to people? They don't like him. Wait, like. Wait, like in terms of like his is the work he does, or just the just, things he says. Sometimes he just things he, he doesn't does. he doesn't think he just kind of just he says. Just goes too far when he's giving somebody crap. I go. Uh. So let's see. Command, a debater, commander? Probably commander, debater. I could s cannot resist an intellectual challenge. I don't know if that's him. Is he really that big of an intellectual? Commander I feel like he can try to make an argument. Oh, he definitely does. I feel like he can try to make an argument. I just don't think he has the smarts to do it. I mean, yeah, he may not have, like, you know, all the book smarts, but I feel like he can definitely... BS his argument. way through an argument. So he p could be a debater. I could see a debater. Yeah. I, I could see a debater. I don't... It's just... The analysts are just... They, we, I keep scrolling. Let's go, down, let's go back down. Slowly. The analysis is just... Uh, I don't see him as a diplomat. I don't... No, he's not. There's no... I can't see him as a diplomat. Okay. Scroll down. No. Sentinel? I can't see him being... I can see him maybe being an executive. No, uh, scroll down to the last one. He's definitely going to be... I think he's an entrepreneur or, or, or entrepreneur. a debater. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, smart, debater, or commander. Those are the top three that I would choose. For sure, extrovert. Yeah, I could... It's for sure an extrovert. I, yes, I just said that earlier. Oh. I think, yeah, probably for sure. Oh, wait, do you already have it? No, uh, the other uncle, I forgot, he texted me independently. Oh. Oh, like he was? Yeah. Or, I thought he did. I don't know. Yeah, but, I have it written down. Right but now. for him, entrepreneur, I think, yeah, entrepreneur or debater mm -hmm. would probably be a good fit. Hmm. Two very different people, though. Is he, so, we're stuck between sensor or intuitive. Yeah. Wait, sensor or intuitive? We're, uh, observer or intuitive. I guess, yeah, it kind of depends on what is... Um, Past and future or observable facts. Which one do you think you'll focus more on? 
observable facts. I don't think that's why he doesn't but get I, along with us because we're abstract. So, so so he'd be an entrepreneur. I think so. I think he's an entrepreneur. Because uh, think about it, we're very abstract people where he's very practical. Yeah. He doesn't get our logic. Right, which is also why I don't get along with my father. He's rules. He he, he understands practical facts. I'm too abstract. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why a lot of people don't get me. I'm too abstract. They hear my ideas like what? That sounds what? stupid. They immediately dismiss it because they don't get it. And then you hear my and then you hear my outrageous stuff and like. Wait, there's another level? No, <laughs> no, no, no. It's because we switch over to the feeling side oh. of things now. And then it's like your practicality with people. There, it's well, weird. It throws thing. you off. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. The uncle with two daughters, he's tough-minded. Yeah, the way he, stubborn. The way he grew up, especially in that time period. That's the way that's it is, and that's the way it's going to be. the way he's going to be stubborn to the end. I mean, you saw how his daughter's dating. You know how the whole stories go. Yeah. So, clearly, i definitely an entrepreneur. I just don't know. I think he can be smart in certain aspects that suit to his strengths. Mm -hmm. But he's not, like, us smart. Mm -hmm. In that sense. Mm -hmm. To his own, he is a banker. And he's not... I feel like he's not... I feel he'll, no. he'll probably... No, he definitely... Yeah, 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 no, He'll for sure. search for the facts that supports his argument and not the facts that go against the argument. That's a straw man argument. That's what. That's the way he would go, mm -hmm. is anything to prove he is right. Which is the same thing with Arvet. I mean, that's the same thing as a lot of people. A lot of people search for the facts to support themselves mm -hmm. because, I mean, it makes their point stronger... It makes him feel better when you find stuff to support your opinion. Yeah. But, I mean, at the same time, you should also find something well, to, to, to see. You should also seek to, to look at the other side. But, I mean, when you're having an argument with someone, you don't yeah. really want to do that. You don't really want to seek the other side because you want to win, you want, you want to win an argument. But, well, see, this is different. This, it's interesting. But this is there's been an argument in a discussion. In a discussion, you're willing to accept your your wrong to understand the other side. Yeah. Yeah. And so when you're willing to put aside your differences, you can have a very well a very much more intellectual conversation. It's and learn a lot. Well, and this is actually one of the things that, you know, I learned a lot about uh, for my politics class. Because mm -hmm. we learned how to have discussions as opposed to of debates and well, here's Arguments. another thing. If you tell him to take this test, what would be his first reaction? You're, no. cra you're crazy. No. Actually, Why am he I might crazy? go for it, actually. Would he? Because think about his daughters. They did this kind of stuff in high school. Yeah. Depending on who would ask him. If I asked, he'd probably go for it. If you asked, he'd probably say no. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it. Dang. But if one of you two asked, he'd probably like, no. If I asked, he'd probably go for he, it. He, I don't know. Partially because I can also. <laughs> probably could he just be like, what is this? Since we're another, a <laughs> another professor. Well, if <laughs> another I tell one him of... that it's for my, my major, because my major sort of appeals to this type of stuff. Well, then he might. Then he but might. I mean, if but it, if it, I but I mean, fun, he'd just be like, what, another one of these. Damn professor things. Might as well. Let's see what. Let's see what. what this, just, let's see what the hell he this has is. Opinions towards my interests. Like if you send an email with a link, and you know you just like, damn, what the hell is this? Which is another reason. Might, might as well. I'm sure. I think he's. Ta I'm sure he's taken it. I'm sure. I'm sure is. his daughters asked him to take it at some point. Yeah. I just. I'd assume. See, I'm like, I hope we get to have a Fourth of July celebration. I'll just break out the, I don't think break out the laptop. <laughs> All, All right, right. line right. up. Oh my gosh, line up. <laughs> Single file. All right, starting with you. Do you like parties? <laughs> line up. Did you ever find out the, the aunt with one daughter? Do you ever find out? Did she take it? 
Yeah, I just can't find her husband. <laughs> I know he did. I know he's got results. I don't know that to him. They and Uncle. Yeah. I they they were both in the Sentinels. I think he was a defender. I, I think no, he I she was a console. I really? think really well I can Yeah, see yeah, that. she was a console. I could see that. I'm I pretty see sure that. he was a defender. You are, you're like, really? And I can see that. But then it's, again, it's like, yeah. I can. Again, I can bring the data next time. I forgot it. We can continue this conversation the next one. Yeah. Uh, we're about ready to hit three hours. Well, I'm sorry, two, hours? two well, hours? What What's that say on there? It's like one thirty okay. right now. Oh, boy. We Hour need 55. It. Yeah, we should probably kill it. Anyways, let's think about... Well, to this discussion next <laughs> week. Uh, geez, we're pushing the limits on this on the GoPro. Anyway, so thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You say that so fast. Every Friday, 2 p.m. Central Time, and good night.